we shall start with a new chapter the revolt against the british rule in this episode we shall talk of the early revolts or mutinies in that the sanyasi was supposed to be the first amongst the revolts which took place it was followed by the faraisi revolt then came the tribal revolts it was followed by the poligars or the zamindari revolts of south india it was followed by the vellore mutiny then came the barakpore mutiny and then the wahhabi movement now we shall talk of the early revolts in that we shall talk of the reasons for the revolts to have started or prevailed during the british rule it is observed that the british they antagonized the indian natives through their naked plunder and regular exploitation and corrupt policies now these antagonized natives were none other than the disbanded army soldiers of the indian rulers whose states were taken away by the british they also included the craftsmen the annexed kingdom officials the peasants the tribals and the zamindars and the like the british also took away the land grants which were given to the scholars by the then princes which created great resentment among them the sanyasi revolt is said to be one of the earliest of the revolts it was seen during or in the eastern part of india an army of near 5000 peasants were organized they moved around as pilgrims or sanyasi as the revolt is popularly known as and it took the british nearly 30 years to suppress this revolt now we shall talk of the faraisi revolt the faraisi was a sect which was founded by haji shariatullah in this sect they attacked the superstition and the corruption which prevailed in the islamic society during those days they declared that the indian territory under the british rule known as the darul harb or the enemy territory now dadu mia the son of haji shariat allah he divided east bengal into several circles each with a khalifa as its head it had two basic aims one was the removal of the british the other was the restoration of the mogal empire now we shall talk of the tribal revolts the bills revolted in the madhya pradesh and maharashtra region the kols in the bengal orissa and bihar regions the gonds or the khonds rebelled or revolted in the orissa region the kolis did so in the maharashtra region the mers revolted in rajasthan the santals revolted in bengal and bihar regions the khasis revolted in meghalaya and it was led by utirod singh their leader now we shall talk of the poligars or the zamindari movement which took place in south india it was basically an anti british movement and the leaders were marudu pandian paichi raja and katta bumman in 1806 the vellor mutiny took place now it is interesting to note that in vellor the british stationed tipu sultan's son who was the reason for the inspiration of the soldiers at vellor the british had to send troops from arcot and the war which ensued led to the death of 350 sepoys along with 49 british soldiers the barakpore mutiny was led by the 47 native infantry in 1824 now we shall discuss the wahhabi movement which was a movement which took place between 1820 and 1830 it was led by saeed ahmed rai barelvi it had two goals one was the bringing down of the punjabi sikhs as they operated in the northwestern region and there was several clashes between them and the other was the bringing down of the british rule they also declared that india was a darul harb or the enemy territory and muslims 
were either to wage a war against the British, if not, they should either migrate to other Muslim countries. They appointed four Khalifas to spread the movement. Tito Mir was a leader who spread this movement in the Bengal region. They created great havoc in northwest of India, where the British had to send 16 expeditions amounting to 33,000 troops to bring down this movement. Thank you.